Hi, welcome to our slideshow, Computer Exams Demystified. This is a guided tour of computer-based exams, or CBE for short. We've been introducing CBE since December 2015. You might be thinking, why? Well, our goal is to enhance the exam writing experience for you. We want to make it easier, faster, and better. And we want to provide you with your grades in approximately half the time it currently takes. CBE will be a new experience for many of you, so we are introducing it gradually. As you can see here, all CIP and GIE courses will have computer-based exams for July 2017. Once a course has been converted to CBE, paper-based exams will no longer be available for that course, so it will be helpful for you to know the CBE process and format. Your first step is to log into your online account on insuranceinstitute.ca. You will then confirm your preferred online exam center. This is located under the My Profile tab. If you don't see a location within 100 kilometers from where you reside, please don't worry. Just choose the location entitled Location Not in List. This will notify the examinations department that they need to make arrangements for a more accessible exam center location once your registration is complete. If you're phoning into Member Services for registration, please inform the Member Services Associate of your preferred online exam center before you get registered. You will be required to register eight weeks prior to the exam session if you're selecting Location Not in List as your preferred online exam center. Please note, if you're a new member and you have just created your profile online, your preferred online exam center location will be automatically chosen based on your home address postal code. To view your preferred online exam center, please log in to your online account and go to My Profile. Right now, let's show what you will see when you register for a CBE course. CBE offers a flexible three-week exam schedule. We will show you how to change exam dates and locations during registration. Once your exam booking is complete, you will receive a booking confirmation email from IIC Mail. On your screen, you will see the email address of where the booking confirmation email will be coming from, as well as the subject line of the email, Insurance Institute Exam Booking Confirmation. The booking email will contain the exam name, date, time, and the full address of the location. You will also see important information about exam booking transfers, a link to a CBE tutorial, and a link to test your login credentials. To log in on exam day, you will need the same member ID and password you use to log into our IIC website. You'll need to memorize your member ID and password because you won't be allowed to bring scrap paper to the exam. The booking information you receive in our email is also available at any time on your online profile. Just log into our website, click on My Education, and then My Courses. You will then see your courses listed under your course record. By clicking on Exam Details for the exam in question, you can view your exam date, time, and location, as well as other important information pertaining to your exam. Remember when I said you can change your exam bookings as many times as you'd like prior to the transfer deadline? This is where you do it. If you scroll down on the My Courses page, you will see the button Change Online Exam Date, Time, and Location. By clicking here, you will be redirected to the site where you can transfer your exam booking. Click Exams at the top of the page. You will now see the exams for which you are currently registered. From here, click on Exam Details beside the exam you would like to transfer. Then select Change Exam Booking. You can now choose the location where you would like to write your exam. Once you've chosen a region and location, you'll see all available dates and times for that specific location. You'll also see the number of seats left for that date and time. The final step will be to click Book. This will finalize your transfer. Two emails will confirm that your booking is complete. The first will confirm the cancellation of your first booking. The second will be a confirmation of your new exam date, time, and location. As we mentioned before, you can change the date, time, and location of your exam as many times as you would like subject to availability. 
The deadline to change your CBE date, time, or location without a fee is two weeks prior to the exam session start date. We understand that sometimes medical or work-related conflicts arise, which may require you to transfer your exam to another available date within the exam session or to the next examination session. In these circumstances, the regular exam deferral process and policies apply. Two weeks before the exam period, we will send you an email letting you know your exam timetable is now available. You will be given specific instructions to log into your account and confirm your exam details. This email will list a number of things you will need to bring on the day of your exam, such as government issue photo ID and your Insurance Institute member ID and password, which you will need to remember. You will need your login credentials to log into our computers to write your exam. We strongly encourage you to test your login credentials on the day before your exam. If you're having any difficulties logging into your account, please contact our member services team. Now we will give you a tour of the exam structure and site locations. The computer-based exam structure will remain fairly consistent with the current paper-based exam structure. The exam will consist of both multiple choice questions worth two marks each for every CIP course and one mark each for each of the GIE courses, as well as narrative and application questions worth various marks that are clearly defined within the exam. The exams are taken in a proctored environment in a pre-established exam location. The exams themselves are closed book exams similar to the paper-based exams. You will have three hours to complete your CIP exams, and the final mark will be out of a total of 200 marks. For GIE exams, you will have two hours to complete, and your final mark will be out of a total of 100 marks. All CIP and GIE courses will be transitioned to a computer-based exam format by July 2017. Once a course has been transitioned to a computer-based exam, the exam will no longer be available in the paper-based exam format. You can see our rollout schedule on this slide. We have a range of computer-based exam sites across Canada and we plan on adding more sites. We are able to host most candidates in our institute offices. If you do not have an examination center within 100 kilometers of your residence, you can ask us to arrange an alternative examination site. You will be required to register eight weeks in advance of the start of the exam session. We will strive to accommodate your request. After the eight week deadline, you will have to either select an established center or we will assign you to the closest established center based on availability. Let me walk you through what you will see when you sit down to take your computer-based exam and show you the tools that you will have at your fingertips to assist you while taking your exam. When you arrive at the exam center, this is the first screen that you will see. This is where you go to log in to the system. You click on log in, and then you'll be taken to your login screen. This, this mimics the website's login, so you're using the same information that you would use to access the website. So I'm just going to log in here. So now, once you log in, you can view your exams. As you can see on this screen, I have access to two different exams. The one on the bottom right is the tutorial. Uh, this student tutorial is here, and it's also available to you once you register for a CIP or GIE course that has transitioned to the computer-based exam format. We recommend that you practice with this tutorial prior to sitting down to take your exam. You can do it at home until you feel more comfortable uh, with the program itself. On this side, you can see that I'm registered for an exam, and I have the option to write the exam. I will now show you what the exam will look like. So to start the exam, first in, a, in the uh, exam location, you'll want to wait for the proctor to inform you to begin your exam. Once you have received the go-ahead, you will click on the option to write exam. This next screen is an agreement screen. It, it basically is, it lets us uh, ensure that you have read and understood 
the examination rules and regulations of the Insurance Institute, as well as confirming that you are ready to begin your exam. So once you click on the I agree button, you are now given the option to start your exam. So now you are in the exam and you're ready to start. You will notice that all the questions for the exam have been numbered and they are listed here in the middle of the screen. As with the paper-based exams, the multiple choice questions will be listed first, followed by the narrative and application questions if applicable. As many of you have already taken some of our paper-based exams, you will know that you are not given scrap paper in the computer-based exam. Instead, we have provided you with a notes section. To access the notes section, you will click on the notes notepad icon here at the top of the screen. As soon as I do that, you notice that you get a notes section here inside the question on the right side. These notes sections are question specific, so that means that your notes will always remain in the question in which you type them. What we suggest you do is you choose a question that is easy to return to, such as question one, and you can then dump all your notes into this one section. You can then always return to this question to access any of the information that you've put here as you progress further through the exam. Now as you progress through your exam, you may encounter a question that you have to take a few minutes to think about, but you don't want to lose track of that question, but you still want to continue on with your exam. At this point, we suggest that you use the bookmark feature. So what you do is you click on the bookmark feature and now it has been visibly identified as a question for, that you would like to return to later. So now you can continue on to the next question and continue on through your exam without losing track of the questions that you would like to return to. The other thing that uh, I know that some of you may have, uh, may make you a little bit intimidated is the time remaining ticking down on the side of the screen. You always have the option to hide the time remaining by clicking on your clock icon. Now the time has disappeared and you can continue on with your exam. However, if at any point you would like to see how much time is remaining, you may click on it again and it will reappear. Another option available to you is the toggle between the English and French. And this toggle is located right here at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Right beside that you can see that you can increase and decrease the font size. You do this by simply clicking on either the large A to increase the font or the small A to decrease the font. And you can click this as many times as you'd like to keep increasing the font if you're having difficulty reading the question. I'll just return back. So now let's pretend you've completed your exam. Congratulations, it's time to submit your exam. To submit your exam, you'll want to click on the Submit Exam button at the top right-hand side of the screen. When you do so, a message will appear that will notify you of any questions that you still have bookmarked, as well as any questions that have been left unanswered. You now have the option to return to your exam to take one last stab at the questions that you left unanswered, or you can continue and submit your exam. So you can see these two options are here. Once you click Submit Exam a second time, the exam will be submitted and you will not be able to access it again. You are now complete and you can log out of